Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be making a card for my best friend Catherine. And it's going to be a kind of mixed media -y background um, with some clearly besotted stamps used on the front. And I'm using shaded lilac and wild. I was going to say wild wisteria, that's not right, is it? Wilted Violet. I've been watching too many Stampin' Up! videos. Anyway, I just use a shaving brush. Not shaving brush. What's wrong with me today? One of those makeup brushes from the Poundland. They're really soft and I just use that to blend the two colours together. And then I spray it with my Distress Sprayer to get some splotches and also to meld the colours in together a little bit. And off camera I just go and dry that be um, with my heat tool and I use my glass mat to cool down the surface. Now I'm going to use this stencil and I picked it because it's got um, crowns on and um, my friend and I are both Christians and I don't talk about my faith much but um, for the purpose of this video the reason why I chose crowns is because um, like when you are seen as the daughter of God, you are the daughter of the king, so you're actually royalty. So that's why I chose the crown. And um, I'm just using the Galaxy Gold ink by Brilliance and Adorba to add this to the background and make my pattern. And I love that, it's very sparkly. And if you wanted to recreate this card and, you know, the crowns didn't fit your theme, you could use like a trellis type or a Moroccan style um, background stencil and use the gold. I think that would be really pretty and might make it look more like a garden. Um, it's up to you what you like. So I'm thinking about what kind of ink I'm going to use and I end up choosing black because I think the contrast is needed with all of the other colours that are going to be going on. Um, so I stamped these from the miniature floral set from Clearly Besotted and the happy birthday sentiment is from Clearly Besotted as well and that's from To, to You With Love. And I stamp a few of these because I'm going to cut them out and arrange them around um, a oval and I mess up the first one. <laughs> I can't remember what I did. I think I got a bit of ink on the edge of the stamp platform and got it where I didn't want it on the other sheet. So I just stamped myself an extra one. And while I've got my stamp platform out, I decide that I'm going to use it to stamp the greeting in the middle and I choose sending lots of love and again that's from the same miniature floral collection stamp set. So I just had a little clean up and I put that away and I've got some ink on my fingers so I just use some hand sanitizer and a it's a flannel but I use it as a, like a small towel in my craft room and I decide that I'm going to go with the third smallest die from the MFT stitch ovals. I try the full smallest but I decide it's too big on my card so I go away and make it a bit smaller. So now that I've got that cut out I'm thinking about how I'm going to arrange the flowers around that oval but first I need to colour them in so I just pick some pro markers and I'm going to have a little scribble in a minute on the side of the paper just to see what the colours come out like. I do have a colour chart that I made but I've misplaced it when I moved house <laughs> so I'm not quite sure where that is so I might have to make another one. And if you have pro markers and you're interested in colour charts, let me know and 
I'll see about if I can share it somehow with you guys. Anyway, I'm just doing a little bit of colouring and I'm going to focus on just a couple of the flower heads for now because I'm going to cut them out. And I won't make you sit through all of the colouring because I colour in quite a few different um, flower stems. But I thought I'd leave a little bit in so you can see how I do it. So I'm testing out here a lighter purple and a dark purple. And I do one of each on this stem. And then I'm going to fussy cut these out. I forgot, but usually I would use a black pen um, to go around the edges of these because when you cut them out, you see the um, raw edge of the paper exposed. And then if you've missed any little bits and you've got white bits left, it doesn't show up as much. But um, I cut out and coloured so many of these I completely forgot. So I've come back now after the colouring to show you um, me sticking them down and I've zoomed in so you can see the card a little bit better. Unfortunately I do keep knocking the camera um, because I don't really have a lot of room to work when the camera's zoomed in this much. But I'm working on my setup so please bear with me. And I didn't want to lose this footage because I thought this card turned out pretty and I've not done anything else like it so I wanted to share it in case it's something that you like too. So um, the first, uh, what is it, they're like hysteria, is it hysteria plants? I don't know how you say it but um, I stuck that down flat and then the lilies and the second set I popped up on that um, funky foam and I chose lilac so if it showed out the sides it wouldn't be too obvious with the purple background which was actually really handy on these lilies because um, they're so so tiny it took me forever to cut those little things up and pop them up but it was worth it because this is so pretty. And off camera I um, used double sided tape to add funky foam to the back of that oval. And that's the end of my card. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Bye.